I, beautiful people of the Most High God, the Living God, oh, the Father has a message for the rich. Um, it's a word. I wrote it down, and here it is. I'm going to read it to you. And then he wants me to read some scriptures unto the rich. And you people, I just want you to know this is this word is like fire. And you know the Most High God's word is like fire and a hammer. These these wicked people in the earth, they're judged. The unrighteous, the wicked, judgments and God's wrath is falling down on the heavens and earth. And you people need to depart from them. I already told you when God made me put together judgments falling on the wicked, woe unto the wicked. But right now, these the, the rich, because what they've done to the poor, God is going to make fire fall down from the kingdom of God earthquakes and volcanoes lots of wicked lots of punishments and judgments are coming onto the wicked because they refuse to hearken unto the voice of the lord they will not stop with the witchcraft with the sorcery with the magic with the blood sacrifices and the shedding of innocent blood and the secret societies and the murders people of god if you hear god's word for his people right now i'm going to read it but i'm telling you please repent he said, preach nothing but repentance unto this generation. Teach them the word of the truth. Teach them their sin and show them how to repent from it. That is what I do. Nothing but repentance unto this generation. But this word is from God. Woe unto the rich. This is God's word for you. He even told me how to title it. This is him who made me write this. Woe unto the rich. You are judged. You will be put to death. Do you hear me? word of God he said no more warning he's giving the rich people no more warning God said that you are judged you will be put to death to the rich he said no more warning thus says God so I'm going to say it because my children are crying this is why he said to the rich he said because my children are crying every second in my ears on account of the wicked who are the rich and at ease in the heavens and earth I will show my hand they are judged they will fall. And these are the scriptures he wants me to read to you people. Doctrine and Covenants 56 and 1. Hearken, O you people who profess my name. So you people who like to say, Oh, the Most High said, God said this. He's saying, Hearken, O you people who profess my name. Says the Lord your God. For behold, my anger is kindled against the rebellious. And they shall know my arm and my indignation in the day of visitation. And of wrath upon the nation this is now and then any even made me to read the scripture how he's going to put them to death luke 6 and 24 but woe unto you that are rich for you have received your consolation this is how he wants to put them to death zachariah 14 and 12 and thus shall be the plague wherewith the lord will smite all the people that have fought against jerusalem their flesh shall consume away while they stand upon their feet and their eyes shall consume away in their holes, and their tongues shall consume away in their mouth by his consuming fire. God's going to, he said he's not coming with flood with water this time. He's coming with fire. That's all he's going to be killing the rich people who, who prant upon the head of the poor. And he's going to tell you why he's doing this to rich people. I'm going to read it. Doctrine and Covenants 6 and 7. Seek not for riches. This is what God says to you people. But for wisdom. And behold, the mysteries of God shall be unfolded unto you. And then shall you be made rich. Didn't I tell you God will give you wisdom how to become rich? See? Seek not for riches, but for wisdom. And behold, the mysteries of God shall be unfolded unto you. And then shall you be made rich. Behold, he that has eternal life is rich. If you have eternal life, you're rich. Now, doctrine and covenants 56 and 16. Woe unto you, rich man. That will not give your substance to the poor, for your riches will canker your souls, and this shall be your lamentation in the day of visitation, which is now, and of judgment and of indignation. The harvest is past, the summer is ended, and my soul is not saved. Woe unto you, poor men, whose heart are not broken, whose spirits are not contrite, and whose bellies are not satisfied, and whose hands are not stayed from laying hold upon other man's goods. Poor people who steal and covet and do witchcraft and sorcery for other people's name. God says, one to you too, whose eyes are full of greediness and who will not labor with your own hands, who covet. 
But blessed are the poor who are pure in heart, whose hearts are broken and whose spirits are contrite, for they shall see the kingdom of God coming in the power and great glory unto their deliverance, for the fatness of the earth shall be theirs. For behold, the Lord shall come and his repent and his recompense shall be with him and he shall reward every man and the poor shall rejoice and their generation shall inherit the earth from generation to generation forever and ever and now i make an end of speaking unto you even so amen doctrine and covenants 104 and 16 but it must needs to be done in my own way and behold this is the way that i the lord have decreed to provide for my saints that the poor shall be exalted, in the, in that the rich should be made low. I read that. I put it twice. Forgive me. It's two Nephi nine and thirty to forty. But to be learned is good if they hearken unto the counsels of God. You see why God made me put together. Get your counsel from Him. Counsel is mine. These scriptures He makes me get for you to read. I don't just go picking it up on my own. But woe unto the rich, who are rich, as to the things of the world. For because they are rich, they despise the poor. So this is why God's judging these rich people. They despise the poor. And they persecute the meek. They persecute the peaceful people. And their hearts are upon their treasures. Wherefore their treasure is their God. What God say rich people's treasures are? Their money is their God. And behold, their treasure shall perish with them also. And woe unto the deaf that will not hear, for they shall perish. Woe unto the blind that will not see, for they shall perish also. Woe unto the uncircumcised of heart, for a knowledge of their iniquity shall smite them at the last day. Woe unto the liar, for he shall be thrust down to hell. All liars will have their part in the lake of fire. Woe unto the murderer who deliberately kills, for he shall die. Woe unto them who commit whoredoms. For they shall be thrust down to hell. The whorlets. Woe unto. Woe. Yeah. Woe unto those who worship idols. You could even be an idol worshiper of yourself. For the devil of all devils delights in them. Yeah. Devils love you when you worship idols and when you worship yourselves. That's why they're the people with the money. And, I'm, and in fine. Woe unto all those who die in their sins. For they shall return to God and behold his face and remain in their sins. O oh, my beloved brethren, remember the awfulness and transgressions against the holy God, and also the awfulness of yielding to the enticings of the cunning one, that dirty Satan. Remember to be carnally remember to be carnally minded is death, and to be spiritually minded is life eternal. O oh, my beloved brethren, give ear to my words. Remember the greatness of the Holy One of Israel. Do not say that I have spoken hard things against you, for I for if you do, you will rival against the truth. For I have spoken the words of your maker. I know that the words of truth are hard against all uncleanness. But the righteous fear them not. For they love the truth and are not shaken. Mosiah 4 and 23 to 30. I say unto you, woe be unto that man, for his substance shall perish with him. And now I say unto these things, unto those who are rich, as pertaining to the things of this world. And again I say unto the poor, you have, ye who have not and yet have sufficient, that you remain from day to day. I mean all you who deny the beggar because you have because he have not, I would that you say in your hearts that I give not because I have not. But I if I had, I would give. You're in trouble if someone asks you for something and you lie and tell them you don't have when the beggar asks you. And now, if you say this is in your hearts, you remain guiltless. Otherwise, you are condemned. And your condemnation is just for, you, for your covet, that, you, that which you have not received. And now, for the sake of these things which I have spoken unto you, that is, for the sake of retaining a remission of your sins, from day to day that you may walk guiltless before God, I would that you should impart of your substance to the poor, and don't pretend when the beggar asks you when you have and say you don't when you do. You're going to be condemned for it. Every man according to that which he has, such as feeding the hungry, clothing the naked, visiting the sick, and administering to their relief, both spiritually and temporarily, helping them how you can, even spiritually and temporarily. 
according to their wants, and see that all things are done in wisdom and order. For it is not required that a man should run faster than he should, than he has strength. And again, it is, it is expedient that he should be diligent, that thereby he might win the prize. Therefore, all things must be done in order. And I would that you should remember that whosoever among you borrows of his neighbor should return the thing that he borrowed, according as he does agree, or else thou shalt commit sin, and perhaps thou shalt cause thy neighbor to commit sin also, to sin against you because you wouldn't pay them back, and then they want to fight against you, you start problems. It says, in Psalms, does it tell you, the wicked borrows and pays not again, but the righteous shows mercy and give it. For such as be blessed of him shall inherit the earth, and they that be cursed of him shall perish. That's in Psalms. And finally, I cannot tell you all the things whereby you may commit sin. For therefore, for there are diverse ways and means, even so many that I cannot number them. But this much I can tell you, that if you do not watch yourselves and your thoughts and your words and your deeds. So what does God tell you to watch? Your thoughts? Remember, Satan puts negative thoughts in your mind and evil spirits and principalities and powers. So when you get a wicked thought in your, in your mind, you're supposed to rebuke it when it doesn't line up with truth and when it doesn't line up with the word of God because that's Satan. That's principalities and powers. That's devils. That's a demonic attack. They attack your thoughts, they attack your words, and they attack your deeds. They attack your behavior, they attack your emotions, they attack your mental, your psyche. So mentally, physically, emotionally, psychologically, physically, and spiritually, devils, demons, and Satan, and principalities and powers attack you. So that's why you have to know where your thoughts are coming from. That's why your thoughts should always be on God. And your words should line up in the word of God. And your deeds should be following the deeds that God told you. If not, the devil can sway you. Principal, you can get devilly possessed. You can you can be a person, walk not even yourself, but devils are making you do, thinking for you, speaking for you, and doing the deeds for you. All right, and your thoughts and your words and your deeds, and observe the commandments of God, and continue in faith that you, of what you have heard concerning the coming of the Lord, even unto the end of your lives. Yes, ye must perish. And now, O oh man, remember and perish not. So these things you got to remember to guard your thoughts. That's why it says guard your mind, renew your mind. These things you have to protect. Satan's all up in people's head. Consciousness, subconscious. Cover your head and put on your helmet of salvation. Cover your head in the day of battle. Cover your head in the blood of Christ. Cover your head in the Holy Spirit fire. Cover your head in the fire of the living God. Cover your head with Deuteronomy 12 and 29. No, Hebrews 12 and 29, for our God is a consuming fire. Cover your head with the consuming fire of God. You hear me? Satan is in the heads of the people. <laughs> this is the attack right now. The mental, the, fit, the, the, psych, the consciousness, the subconsciousness, the mind, the brain. He's attacking that. That is why people are not seeing in their visions. He's stealing people's visions. You're not remembering your visions memory loss no remembrance he's doing all that spirit of forgetfulness i know i know what he's doing i know because i've been praying against that for the body of christ and fighting them for it and continue in faith of what you have heard concerning the coming of the lord even unto the ends of your lives you must perish and now O oh man remember and perish not helaman 13 and 29 to 31 and this is the end of this O oh, you wicked and perverse generation, you harden and you stiffen, stiffen neck people. How long will you suppose that the Lord will suffer you? Yeah, how long will you suffer yourselves to be led by foolish and blind guides? Yeah, how long will you choose darkness rather than light? Yeah, behold, the anger of the Lord is already kindled against you. Behold, he has cursed the land because of your iniquity. And behold, the time comes that he cursed your riches, that they become slippery, that you cannot hold them. And in the days of your poverty, you cannot retain them. That's right now. God has judged the rich and the wicked. And judgments all over the heavens and earth. Take this up with fasting and praying. Because this was my lesson to teach to you from God today. 
I love you all and please repent, repent, repent. Um, this is not a time to be playing around with the word of God. Um, get your house in order. It's not get your house, get your mind, your conscience, your subconscious, your emotions, your feelings, your thoughts, your heart. Remember I taught you your heart and your mind work together. Get that heart in order. Cast out every evil imagination out of your mind and your heart. You hear me? Get your thoughts in order. Get your soul and your spirit in order. Satan's even messing with people's blood. Ask God to purge your blood, purge your soul, purge your spirit, purge your flesh, purge your mind, soul, body, spirit, your conscience, your subconsciousness, your consciousness. Purge it with the blood of Emmanuel, the fire of God, and the water of purification that's in Hebrews 10 and 22. You people need to be clean right now. Satan is mashing up your head. Pray for yourself mentally, physically, emotionally, psychologically, physically, and spiritually. Ask God to clean you and cleanse you. you this is, it's not just physical and spiritual Satan's dealing with. He's dealing with the supernatural too. Even ask God to clean you supernaturally. He's dealing with natural, supernatural, naturally, psychologically. I'm telling you, he's not leaving no stone unturned for your soul. So you better know how to pray well and ask Holy Spirit to help you. Have a blessed day. I love you all.